SX in the building. All right. What's going on, guy? Hey, man. Just a, just one of them days, man. I had to come home and reset myself, man. My, my, my whole day was shot. Right, that right. So, brother, man, you've been heavy on TikTok. You know, you've been doing a lot of a lot of reaction videos and all this, you know, to a lot of crazy shit. But the one video uh, that I came across today uh, was an accident. And I thought that you, you know, you was reacting to it, you know, kind of like telling us newbies that, you know, this is, you know, be careful. This is what's, what's what happened out here if you're not paying attention or whatever. But you was actually there. You witnessed Day up, y'all. Doing CPR, chest compressions on it now. Damn. They trying. They trying. Damn. My truck over there. They miss me. All right, so from beginning to end, man, let let us know how how did it happen and how did it go down. It was like I said, I don't know if it was the sun glare. It was it was more sun. It was sun glare plus the everybody being in a rush. Right. The light changed. Everybody trying to beat the light, mm -hmm. going both directions, north, south, east, and west. I'm in the right lane. When the, the light was changing, I'm breaking down. But this, once the light changed, the cars to my left decided to swerve to go around the cars that came to a complete halt. What? The people that was going north and south, they jumped the light. Everybody hit when the light turned green. They took off like race cars, like normal. You know that's what cars do. Right. And everybody met in the intersection. And when the Pathfinder T-boned the Burgundy truck, mm -hmm. it caused the Burgundy truck to take flight and flip. The girl in that little smart car. For mm -hmm. that little that little smart car, there to try to help all the men that was involved in the accident. All of them got out their vehicles. She, we all tr snatched the door open to get to her. I'm I'm trying to get her uh, free from the seatbelt, mm -hmm. and she 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 ended up dying on us, man. Where where was this? Where was this at? That was in Edison in Edison, New Jersey, on Route One. Edison, New Jersey, man. Yeah. You know. You know, shout out to you, man. I mean, you know, me and you, you know, we we've been going. You know, we go through a lot <laughs> with each other, but on the still for, my brother on on the for real shit, man. That that was some that was some for real old school trucker shit. I mean, yeah, you, that's you, what we. You, that's you what jump, I try to tell y'all. There's a difference between a trucker and a and a CDL holder. You know, we, you, we jump right into action. You know, you jumped out, and usually, like some in some cases like that, you know, some companies. Would be like, no, nah, they don't want their drivers to get out to get involved and stuff like that. Uh, but man. humanity you, come first, you know. Right, right. So you, so you got out. Uh, you seen, you know, you seen the accident. You pulled over. You got out and you sprung into action, man. That was, you know, that's 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 real commendable of you, bro. Yeah, that's just that's just who I'm in, man. You know. As being raised by my father, being a Marine, being a human, being just somebody who was on the scene. I'm not one of them video people. I didn't video until the After, paramedics and the right. Afterwards, that's the one to hurry up and and quick to get the accident scene. And, yeah, and they want to I get mean, the video she, and all like she that. Was bleeding, she was bleeding from her head and she crying. And I knew I, I just knew we was going to be able to get you know, get her out of that car before 
But by, when the officers came, they was like, yo, move, we got it, we got it, we got it. Right. And her head, when her head went back between the two seats, I was like, she did. They was like, what? I said, she did, bro. Look at the way her head bouncing around while they doing chest compressions. She, and then when they started checking for pulse and stuff, I, I already, I, I, I had that eerie feeling. When, as soon as her head dropped back, I knew it was over. And, and she was looking right at me. And this was, and this was the young lady that was in the smart car. In the smart car, yep. Oh, man. The three dudes that was in the, their fifties, every all of them, you know, they from nineteen sixty. They survived. Mm -hmm. So they were all driving. They were all driving big, you know, armored vehicles like we supposed to. So who, 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 in your opinion, caused the accident? Um. I want to say the Pathfinder okay. because had he broke down when the lights was changing, mm -hmm. he would have realized the lady in front of him came to a stop. And he wouldn't have swerved around her because when the north and south, when the east and west traffic took off, they took off, you know, to the light. The light turned green is race time. And we had we, we had to break down for the red light. He swerved it. I, 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 you know, say that was that side that happened. She never, she never, she never had a chance to even get herself together because she was making a left to react. Yeah, she was making a left, and while she's making that left, here comes a a damn truck. <laughs> no, not the Pathfinder. It was oh. a burgundy truck oh, okay. that landed on top of her car. <sighs> was yeah, the Pathfinder T boned the other truck, and it caused it to flip over. When the uh, when the paramedics and everybody came, uh, uh, you know, it's you you caught the vid, you know, you caught the aftermath of everything, which is cool. That's what I think. That's what I think people should do, you know, instead of try to hurry up and try to walk up to get the record, try to try to get uh, the picture I, of the I, female listen, and all like that. You you, you can know see, you did. If you can see where my if you can see where my truck is parked at. That mm -hmm. tell you, I had to walk back to my truck. to to even get my phone. I didn't even have my phone on me when I jumped out the truck. I had to go back and get it because the guy that was in the other car mm -hmm. wanted to make a phone call to his family. So I got my phone so he could call his family and let him know and his job and let him know he wasn't making it. Wow. And that's how I ended up recording it. It would have never got recorded had he not asked that I have a phone on me. Well, again, brother man, like I said, I, I, I commend you for try to, you know, try to, you know, save this young lady's life. You know, unfortunate, it's unfortunate what happened to her. But, uh, well, but, you know, when the angel of death come for you, he don't he don't care what you're doing. When your name comes across his list, it don't matter what you're doing, where you at. When he comes for you, he comes for you. Think about it. Four people in the accident. She the only one that left here. She was in her young 20s, too. And I just feel bad that the officers have to go to her house and, you know, inform her family she ain't coming home on the Monday morning. Nobody thinks about that. You know, when you leave out to go to work, that you ain't coming home. Exactly. That's There's a possibility, true. especially in the trucking industry. You know, I tell people this all the time. In the trucking industry, there's no guarantee you coming back home at the end of your, your week or your month or whatever it is. Because of the conditions that we ride in, we ride through elements of weather, mm -hmm. you know, elements of idiots, <laughs> and then you got all these these new drivers out here that got these trucks. They they don't know what they're doing. They're just out here because social media made it famous. You know, before before social media came along, people you guys hated trucks. You couldn't stand a truck. Mm -hmm. Now you know, there's no guarantee that you're gonna make it home. Well, DS man, thank you very much for coming on and uh, let me know, uh, letting us know what happened, man. And this this goes to show you that, uh, you know, we truckers are still here. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. Newbies, you newbies got to do what y'all got to do, but America's run by the American truckers. That's what's up, man. And I I appreciate you for doing what you did, for what you try to do for the young lady and all like that, man. And and uh, you know, my condolences out to out to her, her family. family yeah so all right bro well you take it easy all man right. and uh we'll get back at it and uh we'll get back at it and you stay safe bro you too fam all right